I'm pretty impressed with the sequel to The Secret Life of Pets. I enjoyed the first film, but not enough to make me rush to see the second film. The sequel actually came out in 2019, currently on Netflix, although I should point out I believe it's only on Netflix until like mid-November. So if you're watching this soon after I've posted this, you still have time to see it. And I actually enjoyed it a lot more than the first film. This one follows on from the first one. We have Max and his other fellow dog and cat friends. And what makes this different is Max now has a brother, I guess. His owners have had a baby. And to begin with, it was a bit weird. You know, the baby was getting all the attention. But then the baby loves him, as children tend to do. And he wants to do everything he can to protect this child. But... As you can imagine, things begin to go wrong. This baby might be getting into danger, but ultimately Max is worried about everything and anything. And it's all about him trying to protect this young child while, you know, out of his limits. And also issues that the other pets are having, particularly with this little toy that's in the shape of a bee, the busy bee. And I I absolutely love it. This little bee is so adorable. So the narrative itself is interesting enough. I don't think the narrative is particularly more profound than the, than it is in the first film. I think the development is just as good. It's just as interesting. It's, you know, kind of the same level of being predictable, but also with some, you know, little twists and turns here and there for the subplots. I think what what worked for me more is a lot of the dialogue between the characters, the relationships between the characters, and yeah, mainly the subplots, actually, particularly with the little bee. I thought that was absolutely adorable. I found that it was a lot more comedic than the first one. The style of humour is a little bit more kind of dry and in your face. We also have this, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but we have this adorable little puppy dog. It's the puppy that mentions the boot. And you will know exactly what I mean when you see it. I thought it was absolutely adorable. I really, truly adored it. Uh, Gidget is on top form here. She's oh, she's beautiful. She's such a, a beautiful little dog. And her little journey and what she tries to become, I thought, was absolutely hilarious. Ultimately, why I like this film more than the first film is that I, that I think, even more than the original, they've got the behaviour and mannerisms of domestic pets spot on. Particularly when Gidget is going through a transformation, the way that her training comes about. Uh, You'll know the sequence when you see it if you haven't seen the film yet. Just so many little things that's just so exemplary of dogs and cats and their behaviour. I absolutely loved it. It kind of makes me want to go back and re-watch the first one. Maybe just in case I was maybe not in the same kind of frame of mind. And actually maybe the first one I'd like even more now. But... Just judging this based on having seen it once, I feel like it's a lot better than the first film. It knew what it was doing the first time, but now it knows what it's doing and it's doing it even even more successfully. I, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Obviously, brilliant voice cast. Uh, Padden Oswalt as Max, Harrison Ford uh, as Rooster, which was a brilliant addition to this one. Jenny Slate as Gidget, Ellie Kemper as Katie. I, I can't... I can't find fault. I'm sure there are things that could be improved. Always the case with everything. But personally, well, it's apparently Harrison Ford's first animated film, according to the trivia on IMDb. A lot of fun. Um, I really liked it. I, I I can't fault it at all. 